Hey guys, this is Jack Still Legend here today. I'm your the Minecraft Redstone tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a spider spawner farm. So let's go and have a look at it. Do 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 do. Headed down my ladder to my farm. Now, you will, of course, will need a regular spider spawner. This does not work for a cave spider. Just pointing that out. But if you would like to see a cave spider spawner tutorial, make sure to leave a comment down below. So down here we have our spider spawner spiders here that we have sat in our AFK room for a bit and they have um, sort of clogged up there. And now if we grab a sword out of our inventory and we can and whack them, you'll see they'll start to die and they will then we'll get their XP and their drops will go into our hopper. Just like that. Then this hopper will lead into our chest here. You can see I've got quite a few drops from hitting it for a little while. So this isn't the best XP farm, I definitely recommend making an Enderman farm if you're doing that, but for it is a really good XP farm for when you're starting off and it is super useful to get loads of string and spider eyes for potions. Okay, so let's close this up and head to our redstone uh, flat world. See you guys there. Okay, I'm now in my super awesome redstone flat world and you can see behind me we have the spider farm. Now it is a pretty simple design. This is all above ground, but I will be showing you guys how to do it underground in the tutorial. But this is all above ground, so you can see the sort of redstone behind it, which there isn't any. But there is some mechanisms going on here. We have a water column to push up the spiders to the killing chamber. And then some fence gates to stop the water flowing back into it. And that's about it. So now, if you stand on this um, block here, you can attack the spiders without any issues. Just like this, and you'll get a load of XP if you've got Sweeping Edge, and there are quite a few here. So on this sword right here, I've got Sharpness 5, Looting 3, and Sweeping Edge 3. You can see I'm getting a load of things, and quite a few of it is going into the chest, and I am picking up a few odd blocks. And you can see there is an odd chance of a spider spawning, I mean the skeleton spawning, like a 1% chance. But you want to base, you want to try and kill those straight away, because sometimes if you get 3 in there, they can clog up the system. But now that you've seen that farm in action, let's hop into the tutorial world. Okay, I'm back in the overworld now, back from my redstone land, and you can see that I found a spider spawner. Now this, like I said before, only works for regular spiders, so cave spiders are going to be slightly different because they can walk through half slab blocks and they're smaller. But to start, you want to find out, find your spider spawner and remove all the chests around it and place torches so the spiders don't spawn. Then you want to make sure there's a three block gap between the spawner and the ceiling. Then you want to dig out so there's a four block gap between the um, spawner and the wall. So one, two, three, four, like this, and do this on all sides. And then down, make sure it's four, like this. One, two, three, four. So four blocks between the floor and the spider spawner. Okay, I'll come back to, I'll cut until all one side, finish that, and then we'll move on to the next bit. Oh, and while I'm digging this out, I thought I would like to mention that spiders can spawn mid-air. So you might want to build a few pillars like these out and placing place some torches on them, because otherwise the spiders might spawn where you're digging out where it might be a bit darker. Okay, back to digging. Okay, you can now see that I've dug out this area, and I've got multiple pillars to show you how far away they should be. So this orange here shows you that it should be four blocks away from the sides. One, two, three, four. And then I've got another one here. And then from the corner, it should also be four. One, two, three, four. And then from from the ceiling, it should be three. One, two, three. And from the bottom, it should be one, two, three, four. My box messed up there. Let me just quickly fix that. So one, two, three, four from the um, bottom, just like that. So now I'm just going to break all of these. You can place some blocks sort of like this if you want to count. But I just need to quickly place some torches so these don't spawn. And then we can get ready to start building, just like that. Okay, you want to start by grabbing any sort of block, so I'm just going to use the block above this, so stone, and creating a three high pillar going straight up like this, so that the spiders do not spawn directly on top of the spawner and get stuck there, because that is super annoying. Now once you have done that, you want to come to the side that you want to like kill your spiders from, so I'm going to be having it on this side here, and go to the center and dig out three like this, one, two, and three. So you have the center one and one on each side like this, just like that, and then dig three down here as well. Then drop into that hole and dig out this layer here and one layer above that. 
So you should have a 3x3 three three thing here, that the last row is in the ground, and then you should have two here like that. Now you want to step onto this block here and dig another four blocks in. One, two, three, four, and then do this on all sides like this. Just fully dig that out. So you should have something that looks like this. Now you also dig out this top row here, just like that. So you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so now you want to grab out three water buckets. My bad, you'll need one more. Three birch fence gates and three regular signs. You can use any type of fence gate, my bad, or any sign. So now you want to place three signs straight across this row here. One, two, and three. Now you have to, you don't have to put anything in these, but you can. But make sure they're along here and on this bottom row like that. Then walk two blocks back from here. One, two, and then directly in front of you, place three birch fence gates like this and open them like that. Or you can open them the other way. Then place three water buckets directly behind the signs. Just like that. So you have signs, you walk through, fence gates, water vent fence gates. Just like that. So this is what it should look like. Okay, so now you need to grab out some water. You'll probably need nine buckets of it if you want to make it super easy. Or you can make a um, sort of water source nearby. Nine fence gates and three trap doors. Okay, start by coming to the signs, one block in front of them, so stand like in this water source here, you might get pushed and dig directly up one, and then dig that right to the very back, like this. So this one block above the fence gates is not dug out, but these ones are. Then place two fence gates on top of these ones here by holding shift and placing two on every single one of these and opening them all. Just like that. Then hold shift and place a fence gate behind there and open it. And then you want to place a trapdoor, no matter what the rotation is, so you can place it like this way, so it's rotated that way, or this way, or the other way. But it doesn't matter, just place three trapdoors that are closed going straight across the top here, like that. Now, grab out some water, you want to place three here, one, two, three. And then you want to fill this up using the rest of your water, and the best way of filling it up is going one, two, three there. Then on the other side, one, two, three, just like that. So that should use your nine, um, your nine water buckets because you've got three here and three here. That's six, and three across that the top. That's nine. So this is what you should have so far. You should have a cool looking water system. Alrighty. So now it's time to grab out some soul sand. Now you have to be careful when placing these because you don't want to get trapped up the top there. You want to walk forward and stand sort of inside of these fence gates, but not super inside of them. Just like this and break these bottom blocks here and then place soul sand at the bottom you'll need three soul sand and it should push you push bubbles right up to the top and if you throw an item item in there the item should spring up at the top there okay so now it's time to work on the killing chamber on the other side okay to start the killing chamber all we need to do is dig out the location so i like to dig up in this corner here that's one block away and then dig seven back so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. And then dig out a space here going three to the side. One, two, three. Then just dig out the space here a bit. And then a few blocks here, you should be able to start to see a um, your water chamber, your water system. So now you just want to go around here and just dig out your area so you can um, sort of move around in here. I'll get back to you once I've done that. Okay, so now you want to grab out some uh, blocks, any type of blocks six stone brick slabs or a six slabs th minimum three hoppers two chests some stone brick stairs or um like two stone brick stairs or two extra stone brick slabs and some water buckets you might need these water buckets i just have one or two handy on you okay so to start find your water uh, the blocks where your water is like this so you should be at eye level with them like this then place a chest in a corner here so wherever you want it to be I'm going to have mine here, so just like this, one's going to be under this block, and I'm going to break that block there. Then grab out your hoppers and hold shift and break and place it in going into the chest. Now you don't have to be super quick with this, just like this. So you should have a hopper chain leading into the chest. So when you drop one in this end hopper, any sort of block, it should end up in the chest. Then you can either place an extra slab here, 
or an extra stair on this chest to make sure you've got a solid face. So just like this, I'm going to place a stair there, and I'm going to place a stair there, like that. Then I'm going to place uh, either a block, or if you want an another stair, you don't, it, it's your choice. I'm going to place another stair here, like this, going out one more. Then place some slabs going across, like this, two, three across on the top level, like that. And then some blocks in front of that, just like this. Then break these three blocks here and replace them with slabs, one, two, three, on the bottom half, so you can walk down and attack your spiders. Now you might notice, now that your water isn't being pushed up directly to you, it, there's, it stopped one block before, and we do not want that, so we have to fix that. So now, you want to come to the side here, and break this block here, around here, and find your water like this. Then, you want to grab out your blocks, and at the level of these fence gates, place some, so on every single one, so the water gets pushed forward. Then you can break these blocks. Now, like I said before, depending on like what version you are, the mechanics of your world, if it glitches out or not, the bubbles might stop at um, one block below. But mine haven't here, so you can see the bubbles are pushing up and popping out um, outside of the water, which is what we want. So it is completely working. So now you have to fill these blocks in at the top. It is crucial that they finish um, directly above the water and then pop back out and have a look at your um, killing, um, killing station. And the water should be right up at your face. Okay, so now we've got that. You can see I can open my chest because we have the two stairs here. And I've also got two stairs on this side. This is optional. That's why I only listed two in the item list. But I think it looks nicer because it's symmetrical. And we've now made our killing chamber. So now it's time to activate the farm and to um, put the water system in. Let's go and do that now. Okay, to start, you want to pick up all the torches from the floor and place them onto the wall so you don't break them when you place your water in. And you want to grab out two buckets of water like this and a pickaxe if you're in survival. Now, you want to place a water bucket in the corner here, one block, up, one block higher than normal, just like that so it flows out, and then the same in the other corner. Now, I'll have to place these torches somewhere else here, just like that. So it should end here, just like that. But this is what you should have so far. Then, around the edge of the where the water ends, break your blocks, just like this. Then, underneath the block the water ends on, break that as well. Every single one. So the water should all flow towards here, so no matter where you jump into the water, you should eventually get pushed into your system. Now, you can test this like by yourself, just as a player, or it'll normally work, just like this three, I'm getting pushed in, now I can just walk back out. So now that you've got this in, you can remove all your torches and your spider farm is good to go. So let's do that now. Okay, so you can now see I've destroyed all the torches and you can see spiders are spawning in bunches. Now, just to point out, you'll have to AFK somewhere closer than um, that grinder area over there. So let's block this up and head back to the grind to see how many spider spawners are there. Spiders are there. So you can see we have a load of spiders here. Now, if you had sleeping edge, this can um, might go faster. But also, if you have looting, you'll get more drops. And you can see you're picking up almost all of the XP, and all the drops are going into the chest here. So like I said before, you do get an odd skeleton. Now you normally don't get the drops of them because they don't go into hoppers because they're not like sitting by these hoppers because they're not one block tall. But the main thing is just getting them out of the way because they can block up the system. Okay, so I'm now back in my decorated farm area as you can see. And I would like to just point out, again, if you'd like to see a spider, uh, cave spider farm tutorial, make sure to leave a comment down below. But with that said, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to build a manual spider farm. Remember that if you tr try to make this automatic, you will not get spider eyes, because spider eyes only drop when it's killed by a player. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to sub -dub -a subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. And remember, stay carbonated.